Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth video course. And in this video, we're going to continue from the last one and we're going to be inside of Encore, but this time we're going to go over menus, which is the main uh, navigation system inside of a Blu-ray or a DVD or even a website. Now, the first thing we want to go over are some of the menu features, some of the things that you can put inside of your menus. So let's go over to Encore. I'll show you. I created a quick uh, menu from the uh, from the uh, library here, and I chose the Entertainment Menu HD, which is what this one is, and I also added a sub-menu to the... To the um, um, project. Even though I chose the SD, it can use HD or whatever you want to use. So let's go over and see what we have. We have a background image, which are these lines here. We have our buttons here, which are these words. And then you have the title of your DVD. Now the background can also be a moving image. You can have a, uh, a, uh, a motion menu which would have audio and video running in the background behind all of your buttons and your titles and it's something that most major studio movies use um, you can use it yourself you don't have to but you can if you want um, it's just something that one of the features that you will have in your uh, menus Another thing in the menus are these buttons here, which when we talked about poster frames, that's what would go inside of these buttons. And not only do you, can you have poster frames in there, but you can also set video inside of these buttons to play little video clips. So it will, um, play a video of that chapter instead of just have a static picture. And you can also um, modify these in any way. If I wanted this button to be up here, if I wanted this one to be down here, and I wanted this one to be over here, see it, it, you can move these around and it doesn't really alter the way that these buttons work or these um, uh, poster frames or anything works. It just um, lets you change how it looks on screen. However, if you are moving this around and suddenly you get a red line around it, um, that means that it's an illegal placement. Because if somebody comes and they click here with the mouse on their computer, it doesn't know which button that they want to press. So it, the red line means that you need to move it so it's outside of the range of the other one. You can have it right next to it, but as soon as it starts to cross, uh, you won't be able to create that DVD or that Blu-ray disc because there's, there's ambiguity there. So just, that's just something to keep in mind when you're moving these around and you see the red and, and you're not sure what it is. That's what happened. Now, when you want to, add menus to your projects. There's several different ways that you can add a menu to your project. If you've already created one in Photoshop, you can come in and just right click and import as menu and then it will import a Photoshop file. And I can actually go in and get one of my um, uh, opening title cards and import it as a menu. And you'll see there's, there's nothing there because the, the background is clear. But, um, it will, actually let me, let me import as a menu something that I know has a background, a clear background. And you have, these ones are now, uh, this is your menu here. And you can, um, edit this to where you can make each of these a button if you wanted to and that way if you want to uh, have them just click on a name and it will go to uh, a video it's um, uh, 
you can come in, edit the menu in Photoshop, and you can have it to where each of these is a button, just like these previous ones are buttons. And also these words down here, these are all buttons. Even though they're text, they're buttons. This one might actually be a button if you, if you tell the uh, Encore that it is a button, it can convert it to a button. But, um, if, if, uh, if you don't tell it that it's a button, it can, um, cause you can come in here and convert it to button, just like on this one here, you can come in and you can convert it to button and it will create it. It'll make it into a button so you can use it as a navigation on your, on your, uh, uh, DVD. Now, you can also come in and to add a menu, you can come down here to your library and let's say you want to add the electric menu as a menu in your project. You just come down here and you double click it and it will add it to your uh, project as a menu. So that's, that's it right here, the NTSC electric menu. And that's a, just another way. And you can also import as menu up here. You can, uh, uh, import.